Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a two sided coin ring. Now, <clears throat> this coin. Sorry, I'm eating a piece of candy. This is a 50 cent piece from 1899 from Newfoundland or a Newfie. Let's get started. Put it in a nerd and special. Line it up under the press. Wow. There's the nippy with a hole in it. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it in there first. We want. We want this side out. So we're gonna put it down in here. Just for the birds that they're bothering you. You'll get this. It'll be conical. Now, what we want to do, see, it won't go any smaller than that. So, what we're going to have to do, we're going to sand down this side here and anneal it and uh, put on the ring stretcher. Let me, uh, let me get the sand in and stuff and I'll be right back. Okay. I've got a file here. I think both sides are about the same. I'm just going to take this coin and do that and just keep turning it back and forth. I'm just going to do two things. I'm going to ground this edge down smooth right here and uh, keep it from splitting and also it's going to help make this hole just a little bit bigger so it'll fit over my um, my ring stretcher by the way I chose to come into the living room so you guys didn't have to hear my damn bird squawk, squawk, squawk. Yep. Thank you.
See, Bob? She didn't bring me a coffee, she brought me a cup of water. But she could make me coffee if I wanted it. <laughs> Bob says you never bring me coffee. She brings me coffee all the time. Anyway, we're going to give that a try, see how that turns out. I might take the Dremel to it, wallow it out a little bit in here in case it doesn't fit on the, uh, fit on the ring stretcher. But it's just a thin lip anyway, it's going to come off when I sand it, so it'll be fine. I'll probably anneal it for a start, but I'll go ahead and grind that out with the, with the Dremel. Let's, let's head outside. Okay, we're out here. Um, I tried to fit the coin over the uh, ring stretcher and it will not go. I need to tighten that up a little bit too. So I'm going to waller out the center of the hole a little bit. Make it a little bigger using my Dremel and this bit. Now it will fit right over it. Let me move you here so you can watch me work on the ring stretcher. Okay. I've got the, uh, let me take the ring off the right? Like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch it a little bit. Turn it, 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 stretch it a little bit. Just keep doing that. And if you'll notice, it's going lower and lower on the stretcher. Turn it a little bit, stretch it. Turn a little bit, stretch it. Turn it a little bit, stretch it. Turn a little bit, stretch it. Turn a little bit. And what you want to turn it for is to keep these splines from leaving marks on the ring. Alright, let me take it off and look at it. It's getting bigger. Um, I have not annealed this yet, so I'm going to anneal this sucker real quick. Grandma. Anyway, I'm going to anneal this sucker. You don't want to, this is so, uh, sterling silver. This is a Nufi coin, it's sterling silver. You don't want to get it too hot to start to blow red. If you get it too hot, it'll bubble up and your detail will be ruined. Let me quench this real quick. <laughs> We've had lots of rings. There's plenty of water outside. All right, so it's quenched. Put it back on there and stretch it some more. Oh yeah, it's giving a lot better now. See, hole's getting bigger. Let me grab my file. I'll be right back. Okay, if you remember what I said earlier about uh, getting the burrs off the um, end of the coin, you want to keep filing that edge because those burrs turn into cracks and those cracks will cause splits in your ring. See, I don't know if you can see that right there. That could be a bad split, so could that right there. Let me grab a piece of sandpaper. Stop and take a look. 
still looking good if you notice right here on the side you'll feel the smaller part the thinner part stretching a little more than the fatter part that means it's time to kneel again so what you want to do is torch that sucker starting to glow we're gonna stick it in some water and quench it yeah I got a bowl right outside there that rained in Starting to get thin some cracks again. We're gonna sand it again. Okay. And you just want to do this a little at a time. It, you don't have to do a whole, if you try to do too much, it, you definitely gonna get split. Starting to get a little catty wampus there. It's not stretching. I mean, the outer part's not shrinking down like it should. When it does that, it's time to break out the mandrel. A regular mandrel. It's got my sizing mandrel here. I'm just going to use it and put it on the put it on there. Use my nylon hammer and just get a couple of couple of wax and as you can see we got it to fold down some I'm going to sand it again I'm going to re-anneal it sorry about the noise I'm going to re-anneal it and then I'm going to put it in my doming block and squeeze it down that's just what we're going to do we're gonna press it on the press. Alright, I'll see you in a second. Okay, my viewfinder is upside down. Yeah, that's better. Nope, let's turn it over. Anyway, what we're gonna do is I put the ring in this hole here where it just barely sticks up. We're gonna put this flat metal disc over it. It shrunk it up a pretty good bit. Okay. Um, I don't think it's fitting that one yet, will it? It's getting there. Yeah, let's go ahead and mash it in that one too. Woo, I shrunk shit up. That's uh, getting a didn't. You know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Shrink the big side. Well, I won't shrink there. I mean, you know, it's the thin side. Turn it back to this side here. Put that in there. Look at that. I squished the shit out of that thing. Lost some of the detail, too. That's okay. It's going cattywampus anyway. Almost looks like a bowl. You see that? <laughs> Alright, let's go back out and uh, put it on the ring stretcher again. Okay, after uh, squishing this down pretty good, it's going to be a bit uh, it's going to be a bit work hardened, so we're going to kneel it again. First side I want to stretch out is going to be it's going to be the thicker side, which is this side. So you can from the side. Size 12, all the way down to like a size 3 there. <laughs> Crazy. Okay. Stretch a little. 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 
We're opening it up. We'll do the other side and flip it over. Stretch, 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 stretch. I can't wait to get my shop done so I can bolt this damn thing down. So we open that up a little. Turn it into a nice bowl ring. Let's see what size we up to. Okay, a six is right there. That's exactly a six. right in the middle and Debbie's a six I can barely see it I know you guys can't see it but right there it says six so you can see it see five six and it goes just past it see alright I'm going to clean this up with the files and polish it and uh, I'll be right back. I might take you with me to do some filing. I don't know. Anyway. Okay. I'm back in the house. I'm going to file the inside edge of this ring a little bit. And see uh, how well we can shape it up. And make it look like something. Da -da 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 I don't know if I told you, probably a hundred times. Captain Jerk sent me this set of files. I didn't even, even say anything to him. He just sent them to me. He's a hell of a guy. Okay, battery's done. Bye. Okay, I'm out here. I'm going to polish this ring with the Dremel. Let me uh, change the bit real quick. I just use a uh, regular old uh, buffing wheel on the Dremel. Real cheap, like four bucks for a pack of 25 on eBay. And you know, you could use. Uh, you could use this. I don't know what the hell this is for. You can use it. I just use good old fashioned mother's bag polish. Put a little on there. cleaning rag right here and buff it out a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, used the files. I filed down the edges really smooth. There were some fine files that Captain Jerk sent me and um, I used some 1200 grit sandpaper on the edges. Smooth them over. What do you think? Shiny enough for you? You use some liver or sulfur and it would tarnish it a little bit for you. Then you could uh, buff off the edges with some steel wool and leave the uh, detail standing out. It'd be awesome. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to change my bit. The one that's a bit more po more pointed, more pointed. <laughs> anyway, my drum cord's getting stuck down there, so I'm gonna pull it up. And since I gotta go inside the ring, I'm just gonna rub some of this polish on the cone polisher. Probably a little bit more than I need. 
We're gonna work on the inside of the ring. I know I gotta do it some more. Not too bad. Looking better. Tell you what, let's see. We're gonna use that wheel. We're gonna use the rag wheel. Shut off my fingers. The muck and the mud and the grim and the grime and the mm -hmm. crap. Not crap. The crapola. Hey kitty kitty. You hungry? You want to eat? Mmm. I'm ready. Man, that thing shined up nice. And smooth, you see the detail really well on the inside. I can't see the damn monitor. Got two pair of glasses on. See, ha. how many of you guys do that and can't see? Put two pair of readers on. Look at that. Is that pretty or what? That's an 18.99 Newfoundland 50 cent piece. Probably back in the day. About worth as much as at least five dollars a day. Let's see if I can polish that inside a little bit more. My fingers keep mucking up the outside. See if that fish your finger. Good? Hmm? Demonstrate it. Demonstrations. Hold your finger down, I'm going to zoom in on it. Got it on a tripod, hard to zoom. Don't move now. See? Do I know my girl's finger or what? Ain't that pretty? You know your girl's finger. Awesome. That's a 925. Sterling silver coin from 1899, Newfoundland, 50 cent piece. Size six, just for daddy. Just for me. Yay! Thank you, baby. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll call it a night. It's pretty. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, like and subscribe. Share the video so all your friends can see all the wonderful things that I can do and share. Have a good one.